What's up guys, it's Austin here from Physique Development. I'm here with client Frankie, and we're gonna go over the cable fly. So the first thing I like to do with clients is going to be to do it without weight. So remember, if we can't do it without load, with no weight, if we can't find tension there, we're gonna have a really hard time finding tension with the load or with the weight. So what we're gonna have Frankie do is basically go through the motion of the of the cable fly itself. So if we think about where the chest actually attaches in the origin and in the insertion, so it actually attaches right up here, inserts here on the upper, upper arm, and it actually originates here in the sternum. So basically all we're trying to do is we're gonna bring this point here to this point here, and that's how simple it is. So from there, Frankie's gonna stabilize his scapula back here. So he's gonna think about pulling his shoulder blades down and together to create stability in that back, in that chest. And then he's gonna think about pulling those, really pushing those elbows together here. Think about driving your biceps together, think about driving your elbows together, whatever helps you really find tension in that chest. Good, so we're gonna come back. So as we come back, come back a little faster. So as we come back, we're gonna have stability here in the shoulder blades again, and then really driving those elbows together, driving those biceps together, really creating tension here, here in your chest. Good, so from here, basically we're, we're gonna, the next step in this process is we're gonna have Frankie grab the cables. What he's gonna do, he's gonna take it one slight step out. Good, good. So. What we're gonna do, just to keep some tension off your biceps, because I know people have some discomfort here in their bicep tendon, so what we're, kinda, we're gonna do is kind of, we're gonna start out here, kind of breaking at the elbow. So allow yourself to kind of relax here at the elbow slightly. Good. So stabilize your scapula, good. So we're bringing it down and together, remember. So from there, Frankie's actually gonna think about driving, again, driving those biceps together, creating tension in the chest itself. He doesn't have to necessarily, this is actually a good point, I'm glad Frankie did this. He doesn't actually have to touch the handles. That's not our intention here. So as Frankie comes back, he could actually come back from the beginning. So we're gonna redo this. So what we're gonna do is we're not worried about where these handles are going. We're only worried about what happens between here and here in his chest. So the insertion and origin. So we're just trying to bring those two points together, like I said. So all we're gonna do it's just drive, 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 drive. And actually, that's, we're gonna stop there. Because look, if we bring this out and you focus only on driving those two points together, you're not gonna get there. So that's good. So we're creating tension there. Good. So main points here, just really keep your, you can go ahead and let go. So main points here are just gonna keep that scapula stable and then really, really focus on driving those biceps together. And you're gonna run out of room. You're gonna find out, you're gonna run out of room about there. You can go a little further, but don't lose too much stability here, back here in your scapula, because that's gonna lose tension on your contraction there in your chest. So that's not the goal. The goal of this exercise, especially with the cable pulley system, is just to keep tension. So we have other exercises, mainly pushing and pushing movements for your chest, that are gonna maximize other properties that we're looking for in a program. But why the cables are usually in your program is to create tension and really create a stable contraction. So that's what we're doing here. So that's why those hands aren't actually gonna to come together because that's not where we're thinking. We're not wanting that. So we're really thinking about driving those biceps together, creating tension here. You're gonna run out of room. The more tension you create, you're really gonna run out of room and you're gonna to have to stop about right there. And from there, then you start releasing squeezing those shoulder blades back together.